Hello friends, family, and countrymen. How's it going today? Let's talk generationalism. <laughs> Fun way to introduce that topic. So, I am a millennial. I'm a Gen Yer. Uh, the generation before me includes, which includes my sisters. Well, my oldest sister is Gen X. And before that are the silent gener or are the baby boomers, and then the silent generation, and then the generation after me uh, that began in the 2000s are the Gen Zs, which I kind of like their not their letter better, but. Each generation has um, has had its indicators of the generation. So for the baby boomers, they're born um, immediately following World War II, and then uh, Gen X is the 1960s to the 1980s. Millennials are 1980s to 2000, and then Gen Z is 19 or excuse me, 2000 to the next whenever, I think 20 years is when it is, um, when it generally is, but there's often a lot of backlash towards the previous generation and towards the future generations from the current generation, so for the baby boomers, they kind of skipped over, um, necessarily hating on uh, the Gen Xers because they've targeted most of their uh, anger and aggression about the future towards the Millennials. And you have people out there saying that Millennials are um, extremely lazy, they want much more than they're willing to work for, which in all honesty is some bullcrap. Hi mom. I should pass my mom. She was driving. Um, because my generation, sure, we are full of uh, dreamers and believers and all that. And yes, we do have access to technology, which makes some of us lazy in some aspects. However, we get work done faster, statistically. And we are the largest number of... of children born in any generation since the baby boomers. We beat the baby boomers by almost two million people. So, you know. And it, it bothers me every time that I hear like, um, there's this really popular video going around and it's this girl and she's pulled off to the side of the road. She's like, let me tell you that millennials are lazy, but not me. But millennials suck, but not me. And I'm like, when you shoot down your entire generation like that, what are you doing? Millennials are not lazy. Sure, everyone knows a lazy millennial, but we also know lazy baby boomers. We also know lazy Gen Xers. It's ridiculous at this point. And the biggest thing is that technology has, um, has become such a triumphant part of our lives. When I was a kid, we didn't have iPads and laptops and everything. Um, so we, we went outside and played everything and everything like that. However, people nowadays, children nowadays, get like iPhones when they're in like second grade or whatever. I don't agree with that, but at the same time, that's there for them. A lot of people are always angry about the fact that kids younger and younger are getting access to technology because it didn't exist when they were younger. When I was younger, we didn't have eye products. Those came out when, I don't know, like 2000, 2001 or something? I don't know. Whatever. Anyways, we didn't have iPhones. We didn't have... We maybe had iPods, but we didn't have the technology that we have today. Um, we were still using flip phones when I was younger. Also, um, 
I love flip phones and those slider phones. I really want those to make a comeback. Um, and like Blackberry was the biggest name for cell phones. Blackberry and Motorola. And I get so angry every time someone wants to bash a generation, first of all, because of um, something a select few do, or something that they read on the internet, which quite a few of those things are written by non-millennials, so they're not getting the real story. Uh, like articles today sometimes start with hey young people you need to and it's like no we don't we don't need to we need to make our own decisions just because you have this platform that we also have now doesn't mean that you get to tell us what to do still and it's it mm, the biggest point of this is that we know what we're doing we've been doing it for many years at this point we know how to live our lives properly sure yes I will 100% agree that some people are lazy. That's in every generation. There are some people that abuse systems or abuse uh, friendships and stuff. Yes. Once again, that happens across all generations. These are things that happen across all generations, no matter what. And if people want to say technology is ruining the world and... Um, because of technology, real relationships aren't formed, and all that fun stuff. Um, one of my best friends at this point in my life, I met online because I was working as a reporter uh, for a nerd company, and I met her. Her name is Tish, and she's one of the greatest people I've ever met in my life. She's one of my closest friends, and we don't talk that much either, but I trust her absolutely. And it's, it's just, it's ridiculous. And then, one of my favorite things is, I was actually just reading an article about this. Um, the movie with Meg Ryan and Tom Hanks called You've Got Mail. That was an online relationship. And people will go from absolutely loving that movie to saying apps like Tinder are the bane of human existence because you're not meeting people in person. I don't know. It, that, I'm so bothered by the fact that people need to feel like they're better than other people. And it is across all generations. And I'm really bothered by that girl who made a video. I don't know her name. I don't know anything about this girl. All I know is she decided to make a video that was like, I hate millennials, basically. And I'm a good one, but there's so many bad ones. And it, it just, it bothers me. And I've ha I gave a keynote speech, or not a keynote speech, whatever. I gave a panel discussion speech about millennials, uh, especially regarding technology. And coming from a millennial, it's, it's so bothersome to hear people knock my entire generation based on something that a few people do. My generation is the reason that we are constantly at war. Like, no. My generation needs to focus on school more. Uh, no. My generation needs to focus on school more, but your generation screwed up funding for schools. So, okay. My generation is blamed for so many things. Um, my generation is constantly attacked for people wanting to stay in a position for much longer than they used to. And the reason for that is because we can't afford to be jobless for a few weeks because of the previous generation screwed up the banking system, they screwed up uh, any type of loans that we could possibly get, they screwed up the housing uh, market, which all happened in 2008, way before millennials were even able to buy a house. 
But, you know, whatever. 2007, 2008, I don't care. But yeah. As you can tell, I'm relatively bothered by this. And again, what bothers me the most is that this girl went went out there and completely blamed the millennials for everything that's happening to the millennials without placing any blame at all on the ones who raised the millennials, on the ones who, uh, the helicopter parents of our world, who coddled us, who made it so that we seek recognition where we feel we deserve it, who gave us participation awards for just participating. And people say that it, we're so complacent in not um, in not actually achieving, but as long as we try something, we feel like we're... And it's, it's because of the generation before us, the generation that raised us, the generation that was like, well, we don't want our kids to feel bad, so we're just going to tell them that they did great, even if they lost horribly. Whatever, you know? No, that's not, that's not how life works. At some point, the generation before us, the baby boomers and the Gen Xs, and frankly, I'll give you some of the older millennials, they need to take some responsibility for what they've done too, because it's ridiculous at this point. We are not to blame for everything. And I know it's so easy to be like, Oh, that entire generation is just wrong. But start looking at some facts, do some research, and you'll find that statistically, we are a great generation. Yeah, whatever. Alright, I'm gonna end this video. I got really angry for a second there. Um, hope you guys like it. Uh, one of the next few videos, I'm gonna talk about my intro thing um and yeah so i'll talk to you later i hope you guys have a great day and goodbye